hit it right in his face. Wow, and now, now Beef actually the one to break it up, but AC is not having any of this. Oh, oh my! Rip is just wiping out everybody now. Oh, holy hell, yeah, get our officials and out here. We've got some referees out here, but we're gonna need a whole slew of the locker room to contain these three. Oh my, what a melee! Yeah, these are three big individuals that are just going to town. Trying to do as much damage as possible. Look at this. Rip Bison is wiping out members of our security team. Oh my gosh. I mean, one thing's for sure, there's certainly no love lost here. Uh, Rip actually was knocked out of the Vacation Land Cup by AC. Just so much history here. How many guys do we have in the ring right now? Like 15 people to hold back these three competitors. Yeah, I think the part of the task is trying to get the competitors detangled from one another. But Rip once more continuing the onslaught on AC. When is this gonna end? Jeez. Sam, it, I, I feel like this has to end with a potential match. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. There's only one way to settle this. Uh, you know, I, I would tend to say the same. But only Limitless Wrestling officials can make it official, so. You guys want the match? March 25th, Triple Threat, Anything Goes! Anything goes, Sam! And then it gradually starts to push eastward. So as we get closer to lunchtime, we see that leading edge making its way closer to Greenville, closer to Bangor, and the Penobscot Bay area as well, and continuing to very slowly move east. Now notice, this is about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Still not seeing a whole lot over eastern parts of the state. Eastern areas is going to be more like late afternoon into the evening. So again, it takes its time moving its way across the area. But it will be developing today. The evening commute's likely going to be slippery in many locations here. This continues into the nighttime tonight. It will taper to scattered snow showers after midnight from west to east across the state and we'll hang on to the chance for snow showers as we start the day tomorrow. Now, by late tonight, the bulk of the accumulating snow is done and over with. Most areas are going to see about 2 to 5 inches. Higher amounts will be possible from the mid-coast, the capital region, south and west, where we could see as much as 4 to 8 when all is said and done. Ah, today's one of the Today it's going to be one of those days where I'm just going to constantly be cleaning ice off my windshield at every stop. Yeah.
four, four.
Now bear with me, it's snowing. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's snowing a lot. Thankfully, it's not really sticking yet because it's warm enough, but won't be surprised me if it starts sticking pretty soon. Um, so I got a Starbucks gift card. I don't typically go to Starbucks a lot, but you know, I like it once in a while. And I got myself the Naruto, which is the uh, passion fruit one. It's really good. And then my wife gets the strawberry, whatever it is. Cost me $15. Ah, $15 for that. Holy shit. $15 for two drinks. Oh my gosh. I know they're like juice and stuff, but still that's freaking almost $8 a drink. Well, it's seven a little over $7 a drink. Thankfully, I, my gift card, like, paid for one drink but still like holy shit. prices oh my gosh but i mean <laughs> i really do like this so all right i'm gonna drive home because i'm assuming later i gotta drive the truck to auburn and it's gonna take me like three hours to get there or four because the weather's shit and because i have to drive slow because the trucks aren't only allowed to go 50 miles an hour, 57 miles an hour. And if the weather's too bad, I'm gonna have to drive super slow. So it's gonna be a long day. Long day. Thankfully, it's 11 o'clock. So, oh, almost noon now. But okay, I'm gonna go home. Catch you guys in a bit. So I'm at the hotel again. And it's just been a weird week. So thankfully, I didn't have to drive the truck all the way down from Bangor to Auburn. The truck that was being worked on in Auburn was finally fixed. So they just brought that truck uh, back to the depot and I just had to drive my regular vehicle. That was just something I was worried about trying to figure out what I was gonna do with uh, uh, getting my car down here. Cause if I didn't, I would have to Uber all the way back to Bangor and A, as an Uber driver, a lot of people don't want to do that. Even though it's a lot of money, it's a lot of travel. They don't want to. And uh, I might have been stuck in Auburn until somebody gave me a ride. So, and my wife had to work on Friday. So, yeah. So, thankfully, that got all fixed. Yeah, it's just been a weird week. Just every truck has been down. Um, finally getting back one of the one for Auburn. Um, brand new truck and not even a week old and died like had a light issue they fixed it and then uh went for a test drive and it barely made it back to the shop i think it was some like the fuel injector or something like that was messed up so thankfully that was fixed i was supposed to pick up a rental in bangor to drive it like i was saying and that rental wasn't ready because it was uh missing a belt for the uh reefer the, the reefer went with the rental. Another rental that we had also went. And then uh, uh, the truck uh, last week, both of them from Bangor went into the shop for reefer problems. One of them came back, uh, uh, I think Monday or Tuesday. And uh, that was going to be the truck I would have to drive if... Uh, if it was a last resort back to Auburn. But thankfully everything worked out. So yeah, we got Let's Wrestle on Saturday. I'm stoked for that. Gonna be wrestling Sam Radcliffe again. Uh, fun to work with, so I can't wait for that. Other than that, yeah, as you can tell, I'm exhausted. I'm recording this very early because <laughs> I fell asleep because I was tired and I woke up. So I'm gonna get ready to go and uh, get today done and then uh, hopefully relax. I don't know if Levi's coming down or coming up. It's supposed to be a really bad storm um, tonight into tomorrow morning. I offered him to stay in Lutz, uh, for Let's um, just so he wouldn't have to travel all the way to uh, Bangor and this crap tomorrow. It's supposed to be really bad tomorrow. So, yeah. 
Well, I'm going to get ready for work. I'm going to power through this. And then we'll see. I don't know what we're going to do for tonight. Uh, maybe I'll do a uh, podcast with Levi. Or we'll just react to indie crap. Other than that, catch you guys later. It was a matter of a happy accident with an iPhone. Just took random photos. Didn't think anything of it. But then I actually took those photos and put it on Twitter. And I hadn't been on Twitter for... I want to say three, four, five years. But I noticed that's kind of the mecca for communicating with wrestlers and promotions. And Randy saw him and said, hey, let's, let's see what you can do with an actual camera. In September of 2017 is when I picked up a DSLR and was like, let's see what happens. I sometimes wake up in the morning and I'm like, I'm a part of wrestling. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it. All these people that came into my life came into my life because of wrestling, and I can't express how grateful I am that wrestling introduced me to the people who I now consider a second family. Like, I had, I had a hospital stay, and three of my friends that I met from wrestling came and stayed in my room with me almost every day just to make sure that I was okay. And wrestler or just a random person, like, the people that you meet, they're the most passionate people that you can ever meet. That a common bond creates a friendship that usually becomes lifelong. And it's, it's great. I don't really know what else to say about it, but it's, I, love, I love that wrestling has given me people that are so valuable to my life now. Tonight is a very special night. Uh, it's been a rough couple days for all of us here. Um, we lost one of our own. Uh, Jessica Lynn, also known as WrestleBrook, you might have seen her at ringside at Let's Wrestle shows and Limitless Wrestling shows. She wasn't just our photographer, she was our friend, our family member, she was a mother and a daughter. And we miss her very dearly. We won't be doing a 10 bell salute because Jess wouldn't have wanted us to be quiet. She was one of the most passionate people in any locker room. And that's what she would have wanted from all of us to be loud and passionate about professional wrestling, just like she was. And tonight, Jess, this one's for you. Let me tell you guys, Jose Asante is very, very athletic, and you're going to see a lot of athletics. on the shoulders of Matt Daniels. Oh, 110th Street Slam. Only a
Bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me gobble it to myself. <laughs> I've been sitting in my car for about 10 minutes because I didn't want to get out because 
The adrenaline drop, drop is it's dropped. I'm tired. Sorry. An amazing weekend. And let's get another shit today. So, yeah. So I think that's going to be the end of the vlog. Like if you liked the video. You know, all that shit. Subscribe. Follow me. I'm going to go pass out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Like if you like videos, socials. Just go to TikTok, Twitter, Facebook. Check out my podcast. Yeah. Have a good one. Ugh.